Okay, so this is the first test. I'm going to use some. I'm going to use some foam. I'm going to use some expanding foam to package this sewing machine into this box so that it doesn't move around in transit. So we're going to centralise it. <clears throat> And already done some checks, but it's been established that um, a black bin bag will be a fantastic barrier against um, overspray. So, here we go. Pushing it down the sides as well, because we want the foam to grip that way, and hopefully at the ends as well. Neaten this up a bit. Right, so we've got. And now uh, it's been established that <coughs> um, the expanding foam sticks better to wet paper than it does to plastic. And in fact, plastic will stop it from going off. As you can see here, this is still quite soft and movable. That's been about two hours now. So it needs to be exposed to the elements to be able to go off pure. So we are spraying this. And a bit like paper mache, we're just filling the hole so that it's got something nice to stick to. In fact, I'm going to wet the plastic and the paper will stick to that. Nicely. Hopefully. Right there. And what we are going to do now is literally spray the foam down into that cavity. In fact, I'm going to wet this through completely. This will be the first barrier, but then I'll lay down a second. It's already ripped, so definitely going to need a second layer now. I thought I've never done this before, so um, I'll edit this video and make it slightly more entertaining. <clears throat> um, and again, yeah. Again.
obviously going to be thinking of a better way uh, to do this. But something like that. Okay, so had a think about this. Um, I think I'm probably worried about certain things that I shouldn't be, so I'm just going to wet these pieces of paper real good and just lay them over. Kind of like before, but less neat. We're only trying to hold it in position. The box will actually be pushing down on it and um, forcing it into position. So, I might still do one more layer yet. We'll see. foam can grip it. Obviously when the foam's set it will hold everything in place quite neatly, hopefully. This is my great idea that I came up with. And then googled it and found out that somebody else had done it. There's some packaging available with expandable foam inside. You pop the bag, it expands, fills the gaps. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. But this is my version because I I'm on a budget. I am going to put some more paper over the ends. And that's about the size of half a piece of the standard newspaper. Don't forget to wet the edges because if the edges aren't wet, it doesn't seem to be as supple. Oh, yeah, right, this is it. Look, right, so down in there again, so it can grip, so the foam will automatically grip it. over this end and wish me luck. That wasn't such a good idea. It's starting to stick together now. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's it. Now I've got a bit of a technique on. Push that down. Lovely, lovely. That down there. Oh, yes. The paper was definitely a good idea. Well, so far, a good idea. So far. Well, I'm going to go for it, guys. Spray can. Tried a couple of these so far. They don't move much, so once you've planted it, it's only going to expand from that point outwards, and it's only an extra sort of 100 to 150%, I think they said. Well, I hope these nozzles aren't clogged. Wish me luck.
think we'll leave it at that for now. I'm not sure if it's the official technique, but what I tend to do is, because you're supposed to use these cans upside down, if you don't, you just let out gas. So that's cleared my pipe a little. Um, and hopefully that straw will last a little longer than if it hadn't been cleaned. Alright, so we're just going to watch this now and see how it goes. Bring it closer to and see if we can. Okay, I'm just going to change the lighting so that we can see that go better. Actually, going to start putting some more in because it won't be getting much bigger than that. And then I'm going to scrape it off a couple of times after doing my. Thing again. And now I'm going to get a straight edge from somewhere. That, I think, we're actually going to be very cool. Could do with a bit more over there. But, let's not matter of that too much. Well, it's still going to grow from that, so let's just leave it now. In fact, what I shall do is I'm going to um, start cleaning down. Okay, so it's only been a few minutes, but you can see it's already expanding. And I've just had another brainwave, which is to apply another piece of paper over the top of this. And then I'll place something on top of that. And it will, and I'm using the board from a... Um, head gasket kit. And then we'll have some weight on there, I think. Start with, start with, start with, start with, start with, start with. Something heavy like <coughs> a thing. Alright, so the expanding foam is only going to go one direction now. Should still cure. And we'll see it again in a few minutes. Okay, we turned this around because it was starting to come up a little. But let's have a look at what's happening now. That's stuck. Oh, 
it's still quite soft, it's still coming up. Hmm, I was hoping that would have cured. So, I'll put some more weight on it. And we'll leave it. Okay, I might be tempting fate with this, but here we go. Well, it's not going to cure in that way anyway, so I think we're going to have to go with letting it expand and then cutting it back later. So here we go, let it expand and dry. Because what was happening was the sides of the thing were... Bellowing out. Basically, bellowing out. We could use ironically this has started to dry already. I'm not gonna pop that but it's gonna be quite dry. needs to go off. Just needs to go off. When it's gone off, everything will be fine. We've got an hour. Okay, so we removed the weight from the top and allowed it to just balloon up and hope that it can just be cut with a saw. And Right now, it's still got some movement in it, but I'm going to crack on. Um, also, the weight being on top was a problem because it was pushing the sides out. And in fact, it still pushed the sides out a little bit, but uh, we'll, get, we'll again saw it off. Ultimately, probably, guessing, a third less foam would have done it. And let's just see if we can get this out. Well, it went down quite far. Ooh, it did go through the paper, but that was what the plastic bag was for. Um, I'll probably take all of that off, but I'll leave it for now. And plastic bag removed, everything fine. This will eventually then go back in there. And everything square. Right, I'm going to try and remove some of this paper because we might get messy otherwise. Okay, so we've established half the amount of, sorry, 
only two thirds of the amount of fluid that I used. Um, the expansion on the sides is an issue. Basically, as the foam was bulging out, it was doing this, which not only makes your package look funny, it's going to bring in this dimension. So, in actual fact, this being square is important for two reasons. Anyway, we live and learn. Oh no! It's all over my hand. You can get this off with cellulose and apparently nail varnish remover. Um, don't have any cellulose up here, but I will go and address that now while this is continuing to dry. That speeds up the drying process even more. Alright, so those thinners or thing. See you later. Okay, so just uh, just cut that off there very easily with a serrated just a minute, just with a serrated before knife, would you call it? So, discard that. Uh, that out of the way. My, oh no, I've got it on my hand again. But I can confirm. Um, nail varnish remover gets it off. The manufacturers say wear gloves and elsewhere I've read that nail varnish removes it at least before it has cured fully so more bits that I can just sort of get rid of to make it look a bit neater I could even go to the extent of washing this paper off in the shower but let's just go back up now and see what happens that Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and get that a little straighter. Or am I going to go down there and sort out the first? on someone else's dining table but seeing as this is my all-purpose super dining table that doubles up as a time as a dining table sometimes um, I can get away with it 
and so I'm just going freehand really, trying to get this a little straighter. The box has got plenty of adjustments, so it should be fine. Would have liked it to look a bit better as well. So I'll think about that for the future. Anyway, that's quite that's quite square now. So we'll go up this one or the same, I'm gonna go down this time. It's really easy to cut. I might have gone a little bit deeper with that one, but it's okay. And now I'm going to go at the face exactly the same way. Steady. No rush. Side, which is interesting. But that's okay. So I'm just going to attack it from this direction. Again, the nail polish remover. We've got this all clean. skin a cat. Interesting. Completely on set. So we're looking for less material all round next time. Maybe halving the amount of material pumped in and um, making it thinner is going to be the key there. I'm just going to um, clean this off and then put the hair dryer on it and see how that, how quickly it dries it up, if it dries it up. I'm sorry, if it sets it. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, still tacky at the moment, um, the saw required a little bit of cellulose thinners to clean that properly, so I would recommend not sawing it while it's still wet, 
for the future, uh, for, for myself and anybody else that might to advise. I'm now going to put the hairdryer on it and see if that sets it, just as a bit of a side experiment. Okay, not sure it's doing much at all. So, I'm going to let that go. All on its own. Looks like a loaf of bread that's not baked properly. It's interesting stuff, this. Oh, anyway, and when it's done, that's on little set. with that sewing machine inside. So this is all dead. I'm just going to take the... Okay, so just to recap, um, it's now been about an hour and it has gone completely hard. This is these are the bits I chopped off the side and the top. Um, been thinking about it. Definitely won't use paper in the future just because it looks messy. Um, going to look into what alternatives I could use. sure there's something. Right, so this is now the top padding for this box, so I can safely send this sewing machine to its new owner. I obviously need to mould a bottom piece as well. Sorry about all the mess. So, so that's there, that's there. So the machine goes in. Relatively central. Does this. Then it's on top. Right, well, it does. And it sticks out very far. Okay. But I think that's going to be fine. What I'm going to do is actually use that. But let's try that.
Oh. Uh, in the bottom. As you would find a pair of piece of polystyrene after you when you bought a stereo or whatever. All the way down. machine is now resting in that piece. I'm going to do exactly the same as before now, only make it a little bit quicker and um, we'll take it from there. I'm just going to put something down there to hold it out a little bit, just to centralise it so that there's no sideways bum 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 banging. And you know what? I wonder whether I could. No, that's too big. That's too big. It's a little bit too big. Jar cream, no. Hey, what about one of these? Yes, but no. Something a bit more substantial. Some padding of some kind. centralise that we're going to go with the bag method again. It's not something to work although again it was a little bit messy. Incidentally the motivation for this is to save some money on packaging. I did mention earlier that uh, I saw a product that um, basically two chemicals are inside the pouch inside a bag pop the bag, foam starts expanding, fills the gap. Um, so this is my version and it's to save some money ultimately. Now I just hope that my nozzle doesn't get clogged up. Handy. That one there. Do you know what? We need to go for it. at that for now. Might not look like there's enough and I know there isn't enough but um, I 
I'm hoping it will dry a little more evenly and quickly. So, we'll sit on that for a bit and wait and see what happens. Okay, hopefully it's recording. You thought there'd be a flashing light or something. So better check. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put some tape over the top. Um, because the centre was starting to bow out again, like the top did. Um, just bracing it there, it's, it's not going to make it flat, but it is going to make it a lot better and mean less to be um, less will have to be trimmed off at the end hopefully I have just touched this it's been about seven ten minutes I've just touched that and it's still soft so another ten minutes it should start going hard and by that time it will have created its own structure and I will just be adding to that structure so there will be no further risk of bowing out in theory we'll see ok so now I've further thought about the structure of the bottom and if I'm, I'm going to put it underneath this tape that I've now applied in hope that it doesn't come higher than here um, or at least most of it doesn't come higher than here and I can trim any of the bits off and now I'm just going to apply a little bit under all okay so it's now the next day and as you can probably see the foam has come up I don't know why the lighting's so bad today Okay, so this is now the next day and it's gone all hard and as you can see this is now perfect for packaging. Ultimately it's raised a bit in these areas so I shall have to pop put those down but that's not a problem. Let's take it apart and see how it went. Now this strip of plastic uh, tape I was able to put on with a no stickiness on the back and it's separated off quite well but if you remember the one in the middle I put on first I didn't think about making the stickiness not but uh, it's come off easy enough how much it's stuck to the plastic, not much luckily. So the paper we used yesterday was not necessary it seems. That's quite interesting, that hasn't set. Okay, so that is still going to need more time to set. We can definitely do better than this in the future. We can definitely do better than this. 
this will give me the strength I need to deliver the parcel, which is the most important thing. And these hopefully will dry out. Don't even know when it's going to dry out, but there you go. Alright, so we can now again remove the black bag which has protected us from overspill all this time because the last thing we want is for the product to be damaged. All of this would have been in vain. But if you remember, the bottom is um, the one that we did yesterday. This is the one we did today. All that way around. It is. Just testing it. Yep. So I'm gonna cut these ones off straight. Remember, we're not talking about any kind of exactness here, we're just looking for it to be able to sit flat in the box. And I would say that that is successful. But just to confirm, Take the box up and see how strong it feels then. I would say that that is a pretty good way transporting a sewing machine. So, it's all done, apart from the actual packaging up. This has been my video. And now one lucky person will be receiving these items. Thank you very much for watching.